like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Hello, class seven students. Today, let us learn a new lesson that is back in the forest, which is written by an elephant expert, Priti K. Lahiri Chaudhary, who was also a former professor of English and has journeyed over thousands of miles in Indian forest in quest of elephants. Before we go through the story, let us first understand some of the word meanings which I have written on the board. Uh, the first one is bat. Bat means a veterinarian. That means a person who treats sick animals. Number two, tusker. Tusker means a male, an adult male elephant. The next we have tranquilizing. Tranquilizing means making a person or an animal calm by giving drug. That means making a person or an animal calm uh, or an animal unconscious by giving drug. Then the next one is langurs. Langurs are a type of monkeys. Then the next one is dart gun. Dart gun means a gun that shoots an arrow containing medicines. Then the last one, antidote, a substance that takes away the effect of the drug. I have written only the important word meanings which is very important for you all to understand as we read the story. So uh, let us begin the story. This story is written by an independent expert, D.T. K. Lahiri Chaudhary, and he tra is traveling to the forest of East Medinipur in West Bengal along with his team to cure an injured elephant as they got a call from the forest department in West Bengal. Then the team members comprises of S.C. Day, the chief wildlife warden of the state, then Subrata Chaudhary, officer specializing in tranquilizing animals, that is, uh, this Subrata Chaudhary was the vet mentioned here in the story. Then, the next one is he himself. The, they were three, there were three of them going to the forest of East Medinipur to cure an injured elephant. But later on, they were joined by uh, by another officer. The villagers tried all attempts to drive away the heart, but they were unsuccessful, as the heart, after being driven away, invariably come back to rescue their injured one. Okay, among uh, the heart, there was one who had an injured leg. Because of the leg, he was lagging leg behind. He used to be lagged behind by the other elephants, but the other elephants uh, could not leave him as well. Whenever they realized that he was left behind, they come back to rescue him. And that was a very challenging uh, task for the forest wind. Okay. And uh, moreover, it was a very hot day. And the local forest staff were not able to give exact location, uh, exact information about the, their current location also. As they were inquiring about the current location of the car, a young man belonging to the tribes told them that he, uh, he knew where the heart was and where the injured infant was. And they were very much impressed with this man because this man was helping injured one since two days feeding him with uh, branches of trees. It is to be noted that the tribal people were the one who suffered the most because they are, every year during the harvest season, the elephants uh, come out and go to their village and destroy their crops and even destroy their plots of land. But in spite of that, the young man was very much helpful and uh, he was helping the injured elephant <coughs> with trees uh, with, uh, by cutting branches of trees for him to eat. And so uh, the forest team were also very much in praise for him. Then after that they got the report <coughs> that the elephant had an injury in one of the hind legs, in one of the front legs, the elephant had an injury. That was the report they got from one of the villagers. So taking uh, one step was also an agony for the animal. And that was the reason why he could not move along with the other heart of elephants. Now the problem faced by the wildlife team was that the injured elephant was in the middle of the heart and in order to treat the elephant, they need to separate 
the injured one from the heart and that was very uh, going to be very very much difficult the idea was to chase the heart uh, away by taking the help of the villagers by bursting crackers and shouting and running after the elephants and when the elephants were flee away uh, flee uh, the injured one was uh, sure to be left behind and in that <coughs> in that case they uh, they were to go and give anesthesia to the animal and when he become unconscious uh, they were to give him the drug or the treatment necessary for him after about half an hour a boy came shouting to them uh, telling them that he knew where the injured elephant was and they followed him up to the place and found the elephant now it was their time to give the dose then Although Subrata, uh, Subrata, that is the bad record to hear the story, his name is Subrata. Although Subrata was a bad, he had very less experience. His earlier experience had been limited to tranquilizing uh, langurs, that is a kind of monkeys, but he had never uh, uh, tranquilized elephants. Okay, this was his first experience, so it was a very challenging and difficult task also for him. And when the right time came for him to shoot the elephant with a dart gun, he wasn't ready as yes, he didn't keep his syringes ready. That shows that his carelessness towards his profession because uh, as I told you earlier, he was not uh, an experienced doctor and he was earlier experienced only in treating languors, not in elephants and that was uh, this he was his first time. So he didn't make, uh, keep his syringes ready and almost missed the opportunity to shoot the elephant. But somehow he uh, Succeeded in shooting the elephant and giving the means giving drug to the elephant and their treatment started. They bandaged the elephant's neck and gave him antibiotic and whatever necessary for his treatment. And once the treatment was done, they again gave uh, the antidote that is uh, a substance for which take away the effect of the drug. Earlier they had given the drug to the elephant for making him unconscious. This time they had given him the antidote that is to bring him again to life to gain his consciousness back, to regain his consciousness and they were worried because the elephant did, uh, did not gain back his consciousness in the uh, expected, within the expected time. After they giving the antidote also, the elephant did, uh, did not show any sign of coming out of his drug induced sleep. He woke up once and again fell back to sleep. That was why they were very much uh, worried because a healthy elephant must have been awake after given, giving the drug. Now, the villagers were watching, uh, watching the treatment, whatever was done from, uh, from, the, from a distance. They brought buckets of water, they were ready to give to the elephant. Okay, they were very, very much helpful. And suddenly, uh, one boy came running and he gave information to them that the heart had come back. The heart was again back. That means they have, at any time they were uh, supposed to reach. So they had very short time, they had very less time. And the place where they stayed was full of self -self trees. It was not a big tree where they can uh, climb up and uh, see the, and have the view of whatever was happening to the elephant. Because at any time, if the elephants come back, it would be a risk for them to stay. For their lives and for everything, it would be a risk. And it was not possible to spend the night on the ground with 50 to a wild elephants just uh, a couple of hundred meters away and which we were, going, we were expected to reach at any time. So uh, what they did, they went back again to their rest house because of the parching heat, uh, their throats also became very thirst, they, uh, they need water, they need relaxation. So instead of staying in that place, they took their jeep and they went back to their rest house. But the, uh, the next day they were very much uh, happy to know from the villagers that the heart had came, uh, the heart came back and they took their uh, injured elephant which was very much healthy then. The next day to their, uh, to their relief they, uh, they got the news from the villagers that the injured one had revived during the night and the heart of elephants had taken it away. So this is all about the story. So this is the story about the bat and, uh, and the elephants and how the bat along with his forest team saved the life of the elephant and also the life of the people of Medinipur from the heart.
this have to end this have been in the year 1991 that is uh, 29 years counting from now i want you all to go through the meanings once again and uh, uh, write down the question answers which will be given in your mighty app and learn it thank you stay home stay safe do it for self do it for your family do it for india let's back to 10 of covid 19 hum honge kamyab jai hind hum honge kamyab jai hind hum honge kamyab jai hind